Hi, good morning. I'm going to Aberdeen. I'm going to catch a bus. Uh, it's number 37B. I'm taking it from Central State, from Central Area. The bus is uh, the one, the third, third bus coming. Okay. Behind me is the harbor, and you'll see a array of boats, some fishing boats, some sampan boats. Just went past there, and some a little bit of luxury yacht. That's a sampan boat. So Aberdeen originally was uh, used as a um, port for shipping things from uh, around Hong Kong and it is the it was the original Hong Kong and when Hong Kong got bigger they used this area Aberdeen as like a shipbuilding center for the territory and now we're going to see more of Aberdeen and then we're gonna, going to get on a sampan boat and check out a special temple in Upnish Chow. That's a sampan boat. Those are fishing boats. This is the promenade. Very pretty. And then another sampan boat and I'm going to go into that boat next to it to cross to the other side to see a temple it's a very historic temple
now we're in Apni Chow. We have come from the other side across the water. And why I'm here is I want to see a temple and maybe uh, offer some prayers to the Tin Hao God so that this year there won't be a lot of rain so I can play a lot of tennis. I'm on my way to Hong Sing Temple. Um, Hong Sing Temple is one of many temples in Hong Kong. This one is a special one because it's one of the oldest ones. And also I like it because uh, this temple was built by fishermen um, offering like a place of worship for Tin Hao, the goddess of weather. So I said uh, to be grateful, to show their gratefulness to the God who built this temple for her. And see, it's very, the ambience is very like a lot of boats and fishermen. The temple, just so nice. Um, say this prayer and I love the smell of the incense. Uh, it really is uh, a spiritual place. Now um, just behind me is Aberdeen so I'm in the Akhi Chow side and we're gonna get to get the sampan again back to Aberdeen. Aberdeen and uh, you still see some more boats behind me and over there are like luxury yachts so I'm gonna walk towards the bus stop and head to one time Hello everyone, so just finished uh, visiting the temples and just left the um, walk from Aberdeen into uh, Aberdeen Marina Club area. Behind me is the famous Jumbo Floating Restaurant which is as iconic as the IFC and uh, Char Siu and so it's, uh, Char Siu Bao. Um, the floating restaurants is very Hong Kong. Everyone loves it. Anyone that comes to um, Hong Kong to visit, um, it's like a must do. So before the pandemic, this place would have been buzzing and many people would have come to eat in one of those floating restaurants. But as you can see, it's there's not a soul here but me and some other grandmother and a child behind me. But that's okay. It's still the uh, good, good uh, opportunity to to see what's going on when there's no tourist. Um, I think just a bit of history about the Jumbo floating restaurant. In, this, in the late 70s, before you and I were born, um, there was like a fire in one of those uh, floating restaurants. So now I think that there's like uh, the kitchen is on a separate boat so that um, uh, it's likely for you to burn down the boat while you're eating. That's a really good idea, I think. Whoever thought of that is a genius. Okay. So, you can see this. So that's how all the entrances and then you could see the big jumbo floating restaurant and it's so beautiful. I wish I can go there now and eat um, steamed fish but that is not the case. Maybe one more year to go, two more years to go, who knows. But that is, this is the place. 
and from Central you can just catch the MTR which is and get the south side line and you hop off Wok Chung Hang Station and then you just walk a little bit there's like a, a bridge a walking bridge and then you get here it's a nice walk and behind me is also a, the famous Aberdeen Marina Club where all the uh, well to do Hong, Hong Kong people hang out and drink their champagne and talk business or little gossips within the Thai Thai housewife community and it's a great place there you have playgrounds and art space and cafes and restaurants so, uh, just by the floating restaurant there's uh, beautiful boats and uh, that's it and now I'm, I missed my bus to Wan Chai, so I'm now walking to a uh, the MTR station uh, called Wat Chok Hang and catch a train there to Central or Wan Chai. Let's see. I'll decide later. Hi, after a long walk from Aberdeen, well, I didn't walk from Aberdeen, but I got a bus, the 30, oh, sorry, the 71A bus from Aberdeen to Cosme Bay and now I'm in a Cosme Bay restaurant and um, I'm so hungry because it's so cold outside and after break we so I'm going to eat some very spicy food. This food is, um, the cuisine is Yunnan. Yunnan is um, in China. Yunnan is the South Central China where it's quite cold. That's why you eat a lot of chili. Um, the cuisine is uh, they put like lots of garlic, lots of chili, lots of shallots. Um, Hunan is very famous for being uh, the birthplace of German Mao. I bet he, he did like a bit of chili. Um, so here, ordered um, some tofu with uh, slices of pork. It's very nice with a little bit of celery. And this one is um, stir fried potato slices. It's very yummy with chili. And this is a very famous human dish which is a big fish head with lots and lots of pepper. Okay so I should drink beer with this but I'm trying to be healthy and not have alcohol today. So I'll just tolerate it and drink it with hot tea. Anyway Hi everyone, I just finished my Hunan cuisine uh, lunch and now I'm just going to the market. Uh, this is a market behind Cosby Bay. This is called the Barrington Road Market, or the One Chai Road Market, sorry. Um, this is a very vibrant, very busy market, uh, lots of fruit from all around the world. With some crispy food, you can check it out with me. And then look, there's tomatoes for 10 Hong Kong dollars. Yummy! Scallop, some mud crab, there's some lobster, and some fresh fish. Oh, I like. I like it. I like it. It's like beautiful, but it's quite expensive. Hello. Hello, everyone. I just finished uh, my um, uh, like fishy, spicy lunch. So it leaves like a funny taste, like feeling in my mouth. So I thought I better eat something very sweet and very, yet very Hong Kong. And I'll show you what I have in mind. So, here we are in the famous Egg Puffs shop. So you can see all the flavors. You can have chocolate chips flavor, uh, waffles. You can have waffles too. You can have the Hong Kong style waffle. Green tea Egg Puffs. And I think I'm just going to go for like a, uh, a classic one. So have savory. The original one is only 20 Hong Kong dollars. Or you can have matcha. Or you can have a coffee flavored one. 
banana. Uh, I don't like the flavor. Right. Uh, you can also have the mummy milk tea, but no milk tea today. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I decided I'm gonna get one original. Uh, yes, go cafe, cafe. So the original one is twenty dollars, and the coffee flavored one is twenty five dollars. And this is mommy, mommy, the owner of mommy pancake house. It's fifty five dollar chain. Okay, what do I have here? Um, I just came out of the shop called Mummy Pancake. It's like the best uh, egg puff in around this area. There's a few, but this one is quite good. It's run by this beautiful um, older lady. She's funny and she's very hard working and she's cute. So this is her shop. Um, this one is the original one. So it looks like this. Oh, it's quite big. It's the same size as my face. Hello. And then, okay, sorry, that's the coffee one. Sorry, that's the coffee flavored one. So it's a browner one. And it, this one is the it's the original one, so it's big. See, it's about bigger than my face. The original one is like 20 Hong Kong dollars, which is uh, one Hong Kong dollars is, uh, sorry, one Hong Kong, one US dollars is eight Hong Kong dollars. Eight Hong Kong, okay? So, it's, it's not that expensive, but it's, but it's yummy. Okay, let's try it. I'll have a piece of this. Mm. It's sort of like it's not oily, it's not too crunchy, it's not too dry. It's actually like very moist inside, you'll see. It's moist. Yummy.